Hi everyone, so this is the first class in the 30 part series on FRM part 1 for the August 2022 exam. So we will cover some of the key concepts, not all of it, right? So obviously this is a very short uh, 5 to 10 minute video for the next 30 days. So we will not be covering everything, uh, but the very, very key ones as much as possible. And if you want to come in, attend the class in our center or join our live classes, we obviously will be covering everything there in detail. But this should give you a good idea and help you prep better. Uh, so let's get started. So today we're going to look at fundamentals of probability and the LOS has a few things. Uh, the one that we are going to be focusing on today is conditional probability. So let's look at the reading, the LOS there, you know, what's an event, what's independent event, what's mutually exclusive. So these are some fundamental probability concepts, right? So that's being covered. And as I said, today we are going to look at one of the LOS, which is the conditional probability. Uh, in our class slide, I think there is an example for conditional probability. But I really like sports. So I'm going to use the whiteboard and give you a, a slightly different example for this. So we are going to look at conditional probability. As I said, uh, we will look at that example in the slide. But I really like sports. I like using sports analogies. So in these 30 days, you will see a lot of the times when I use sports analogies to explain concepts. So when it comes to conditional probability, it's a simple concept. Let's say uh, Rohit Sharma is playing, right? So he has played a lot of ODI uh, and he's a great batsman, right? He's played and he scored three triple centuries. So let's see the number of matches that uh, Rohit has played. Uh, let's assume it to be uh, 200 and uh, he has scored centuries, right? So the number of centuries he has scored, I don't know the exact number of centuries, but let's say it is 25. Okay. Now, India winning these matches, right? India, number of matches India has won. Out of these 200 matches that Rohit has played, again, let's assume it to be somewhere around 150. Now, if we say the probability of India winning is, you know, A, and probability of Rohit scoring a century is B. So probability of India winning is A and probability of Rohit Sharma scoring a century as B. Let's look at that. So probability of A is 150 over the number of events, which is 200. So that's a 75% probability. Of all the matches Rohit Sharma has played, India has won 75% of the matches. Now, what's the probability of him scoring a century? That is 25 times he has scored, again, the same number of events. So 25 over 200, right? So that's around 12%, 12.5, I guess, to be exact, right? So conditional probability is like this. Let's say probability of A given B. Right, so we write it with a vertical line. So probability of A given B has already happened. That means what is the probability India will win the match if Rohit Sharma had already scored a century, right? So for that, we saw the formula, right? It's probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B, correct? So here in this example, right, we know the number of century he has hit is 25. But when he has hit it, how many times did India win? So let's say that number, right, wins given century is 20. So in this example, you can see the probability of A intersection B, that is, 20, which is winning and scoring a century. That is probability of A intersection B is 20 out of 200, right? And probability of B, which is the uh, 
we one that we already calculated of Rohit Sharma hitting a century, right? So that is 12.5 percent. So 20 over 200, right? So that's 10 percent over 12.5 percent, which is 80 percent. So this 80 percent is not the same as probability of India winning because probability of India winning when Rohit Sharma scores a century is higher. So this is how we calculate conditional probabilities. Okay guys, so I, I hope that example was clear but we will also just to reinforce the concept look at the example given here. It's slightly different in terms of how it is also worded. So let's say the probability of A is snowing outside so let's say i'm living in a really cold place where it snows often so four out of ten days it snows so 40 percent probability on any given day it snows and probability of b is that i need to buy grocery again like you know someone like you know i like to buy fresh vegetables groceries whatever so that probability is six out of ten days so that is event b now probability of both happening right the day it's snowing they also have to go buy grocery let's say it's three right that happens 30 percent of the time okay so in that Rohit Sharma example we said what is the probability of a given b now we just mix it up a bit so what is the probability of b given a has already happened that is probability of me going to have to buy grocery when it is already snowing right so a slight difference so so just in terms of the denominator the a intersection b on the numerator just like we looked in the Rohit Sharma example is the same but whichever event has already happened that comes in the denominator right so there in that example it was probability of a intersection b divided by probability of B, whereas here we are using probability of A in the denominator, which is the probability of snowing, which was four out of 10 or 40% of the time. So 30% divided by 40% or 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.4, which gives us a probability of 75% of the times where I have to go buy groceries when it is already snowing, 75% Again, it's different than just going out and buying grocery, which is 60%, so slightly higher. In the Rohit Sharma example as well, I think we saw that when he has scored a century, India winning, the probability is 80%, whereas generally India wins 75% of the time. So this is conditional probability, uh, you know, intuitive once you understand the concept, and uh, we will be looking at uh, similar uh, quantitative topics in the next few days and then we will jump into more interesting uh, readings two three four books of in frm part one again leave a comment below if you have any questions and if you haven't subscribed or clicked on the uh, bell icon to let you know when there is a new video being uploaded please do that all the very best with your prep see you soon